the how-to dad and in this video I'm going to show you how I built this mobile ski chalet that is also the stealthiest of stealth campers that has some really cool features and of course I can't build anything that just is what it seems so it also transforms into something. All right stick around I'll show you how I did it. All right so if you know anything about me you know that I love skiing. But there's a problem right now. There is no skiing. Well, I mean, there is skiing, but the chalets are closed. And since the chalets are closed, I need to come up with some way to bring my kids inside to warm them up. That's where this comes in. So basically, this is my travel trailer, or my utility trailer. And I'm gonna insulate it and turn it into a warming hut. Here we go. So that came apart pretty easily. I'm pretty happy with it. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stuff the insulation right in here. So I'm just gonna cut it to fit and friction fit it in. I'm not gonna glue it or anything. When I want to, I can just take everything else that's in here out and keep using this as my utility trailer. Yeah, all right, let's do it. All right. So I got most of the insulation done. I'm gonna insulate the ceiling as well. And this is gonna, I think this is gonna be pretty good. It's not gonna look so great, but I think it's gonna feel good. So yeah, here we go. We're gonna keep on going. So the floor is in, the walls are in, I got the ceiling in. Now the only thing is, is that the ceiling isn't gonna hold itself in there very well. It's just sort of friction fit. So this is what I've come up with. Gorilla tape! Now I'm gonna use Gorilla Tape because it is black, basically. I was gonna use uh, tuck tape, but I didn't really want the red stripes on the top. So I'm just gonna use uh, Gorilla Tape. I think it's gonna look pretty good. Maybe later down the road, I'll get some uh, quarter inch underlay or something and put that up there just to, just to sort of clean it up. I gotta figure out how to, uh, how to sit so you can uh, pull on your boots. I think I know what I'm gonna do about seating in here. All right, check this out. All right, yeah, you know what? This is actually pretty great. It already feels a lot more homey in here than uh, than it did. Uh, the thing I really like about these seats is not only are they seats, but they're actually, there's storage in them as well. So if, um, you know, we wanted to put our lunch or something in there. And speaking of lunch, it'd be kind of cool to have a table, don't you think? All right. So you know, if this were a nicer piece of furniture, I would take a lot more care in it. But I mean, this is for my mobile ski chalet, so I'm not too concerned about it. The next thing I'm gonna do is I am going to uh, attach these hinges to the actual tabletop itself. And I'll probably run through the table saw just to sort of square up the edges and do a round over with the, uh, the router as well. But uh, on to the next step. Ah, yeah, here we go. I'm thinking, for me, it's a bit low, so I might just like shove maybe a two by four underneath this just to kind of raise it up a bit. I'll figure that out. All right, so the next thing I gotta do is, oh, sorry, hold on. <laughs> didn't need those. Uh, the next thing I've got to do is I've got to mount the uh, table to the end of the trailer. The end of the trailer is curved. So I've um, scribed it out and I'm going to cut it out with uh, my jigsaw. 
uh, on this two x four and use that two x four to mount it. All right, here we go. Yep. Ah, oh. all right, well, I just got a call from, uh, from a buddy and uh, just told me that they, uh, they extended the lockdown in Northern Ontario. So um, ski hills are not opening tomorrow. Like I thought. So now I gotta go tell the kids that uh, we're not going skiing tomorrow. Yeah. <sighs> All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do here is um, I'm gonna make it so that there's a little bit of support when, when the leaf opens up. So basically, I'm, the leaf is gonna open up like this. And I'm gonna put this two by four underneath here and then there's gonna be a leg under the two by four. So I, th I think you can kind of get the idea of how that's uh, how that's gonna go. And, uh, and then I'm just gonna mount it in there and yeah, you know, I'm just feeling really deflated. Just really deflated. I, I, I was looking forward to this trip and you know, I just had, I had to tell the kids that, that we weren't going skiing tomorrow and, and they're not happy. So, you know, I, I I get it. I get what we're going through. You know, my wife's my wife is in healthcare. She works in the hospital. She's she's a frontline worker, and I'm not. I'm I'm at home. You know, my kids are at school. But I just you know I just don't see the logic. I'm in I'm in northern Ontario, like way northern Ontario. You know, if you've heard of Thunder Bay, I'm north of Thunder Bay, and uh, we don't have any cases in this town. We've been doing everything we're supposed to. You know, I don't even hang out with friends. I don't even. You know, I, I just, we just don't do anything. And I've been looking forward to this and it, it, it's just hit me like a ton of bricks. It just, it just really has. <sighs> My kids are going to school on Monday, you know, so we can put 300 kids in, in, a, in a building together. But to have 300 people outside doing something physical to stay healthy, not on a snow machine, not sucking fumes from a snow machine, excuse me. But no, you can't do it. You can't do it. All right, so here's where I'm at. I uh, figured out the legs, so basically it's like this little A thing that comes down here, and uh, this is nice and sturdy now. Yeah, so I'm pretty happy with that. Also, I like how it's angled, so if you need to, you can get in and out. Um, there's not something coming straight down. It's not in the way too much. Um, and the only other thing I gotta figure out is how to support the leaf when it folds out. So maybe, uh, Maybe something that, that folds out from here. Um, maybe a detachable leg. I haven't quite figured that out, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it a day and get back at this tomorrow. Kind of a game time decision, but I'm gonna actually just take everything out of here and I'm gonna paint these walls. Obviously, I was gonna leave them because I've already put everything back together. But you know, I've kind of decided that you know somebody was testing out a paint sprayer over here, and it would just look a lot nicer in here if it was just you know a nice clean slate. I could put some stuff up on the walls and. Yeah, I think it'll look uh, look good that way. All right, so this is what I've got for this so far. So I've got the table. I put a little lock up here. So now all I do is I unlock the lock. The table comes down. And the problem that I was having was I couldn't figure out a, an easy way or a good way to support this leaf when it comes over. It's sort of self-supporting, but obviously if you put something heavy on it, it would, it would snap. So this is what I came up with. It's basically, it's just a leg. There's a little uh, magnet in the top. There's a magnet in the, in the uh, tabletop. Put them together and boom. And so, I mean, it's not super stable, but it sort of, you know, it sort of does the trick locks into place in that sort of way and now it's the, the table's a lot more a lot more sturdy now the other thing that i'm working on is uh for heat so i want to heat this space with a with a buddy heater but the problem that i have with a buddy heater is that it throws off a lot of water so i'm coming up with an idea basically i went to the scrapyard and i got a an old parts cleaner and i'm gonna put the uh, the buddy heater in that with the venting going to the outside for air intake and up through the top for um, for exhaust. And I'm hoping that the metal box will warm up and the moisture will be able to escape, but I'll still be able to warm up the space. And we're done, all right. So I'm pretty happy with the way this thing turned out. And this is the best mobile ski chalet I've ever built. 
actually the only one I've ever built, but it's also the stealthiest of stealth campers. So I'm gonna take you through for a little tour, the couple of things you already know about. Obviously you know about the table that turns into another larger table. This is a really cool feature. I don't know what's wrong with my brain. I literally can't build anything that just is exactly as it seems. Then uh, I've got my heater over here. The heater is really great. So I've got my buddy heater right in there. And then I run the uh, line out from the buddy heater to outside so that uh, so the propane tank can be out there. I ran the ducting across here. This is the exhaust and we'll get a little bit of heat off that as well as the exhaust goes out, out through the side. I put a little bracket here for the propane tank so I can, so I can put it in there. And here, I'll bring you over. I'll show you what's on the door. This is pretty cool too. So I mounted Hank's planks up on the door as well. I also have another little uh, table. So if I wanted to use a uh, camp stove or something, I can, I can do that. So I'm pretty, pretty stoked on that. But now I'm going to show you how this becomes the stealthiest of stealth campers. Check this out. How is that? So some of you who have been on the website might actually recognize this is the uh, the Honda Element bed system that I've designed for my own Honda Element. And uh, yeah, it works super well in this uh, situation because not only is it a bed, but it can also be the seats for when we're, when we're uh, you know, using it as our mobile ski chalet. So anyway, I'm super stoked with the way that this thing turned out and uh, hopefully I'll get to use it at some point. But uh, you know, as it is right now, we're not gonna be using it. But uh, you know, it was a fun build and I finished it anyway. And yeah, if you like it, you know, thumbs up, subscribe, like, whatever. Check out all the things out on the website. So thanks very much. I'll see you in the next video.